We really want kids with asthma to reach their full potential. We want, if they have asthma, we want them to have asthma, but we don't want the asthma to have them. And that's what it's all about. Pediatric asthma is a disease that's been around for a long time. It's not like you have a blood test where you can say, this is asthma. So you have to rely on the history that the parents give you or the child. You have to rely on the physical examination. And sometimes you have to rely on breathing tests or other ancillary tests. Although we don't know what causes it, we do know that what happens inside of the body is that the bronchial tubes, which are these large tubes that go down into the lung, they get inflamed, they make more mucus, and they get smaller. So if they get smaller, and especially in kids, because they start with small airways, what happens is the tubes get smaller, you ha it's harder to move the air in and out. What it usually entails is a variety of symptoms that we see, which include wheezing, especially nighttime cough, difficulties with exercise, colds that last longer than the normal children have. And it's intermittent, and it's episodic, and it recurs. One of the biggest uh, elements to avoid is avoid cigarette smoke. And if a mother smokes when she's pregnant, they're, they're ch the, the child that is born is twice as likely to develop asthma. Uh, it's also, we have found, kids who grow up in cities or in westernized environments are much more likely to develop asthma than kids who grow up in the country. It could be related to food, it could be related to uh, air pollution, but nobody's really sure. And certainly there's a genetic component that, that overlies all of these environmental triggers. Certainly strong smells can do it, um, and exercise can as well. And anxiety is something that also can trigger asthma attacks. There are others as well, and you'll notice this with change in uh, pressure. So if we go from a high pressure to a low pressure, or if the weather is changing drastically, you'll see kids have trouble because the body is 65% water, and the water sloshing around in the lungs can also cause the airways to get smaller. And the medicines that we have that we like to use on a daily basis for the controllers are inhaled corticosteroids, and they work phenomenally well. There are pills that are available, something called Montelukast, which has been shown down to six months of age to be able to help the very small babies. There are also medicines you can put into a nebulizer, and they also are very helpful. But every child with asthma whether they're on a controller or not, if they have asthma, they need a rescue medicine, and that's the albuterol. Some of the misconceptions about asthma are that you can't do exercise. Kids with asthma can play every single sport. Another major misconception is the fact that if parents smoke, they think that if they smoke outside, it's going to make a big difference. No, it doesn't make a big difference because the smoke comes back and it's, it's in the it's in the furniture, it's in the clothing, it's in everything. And so you have to stop smoking. You have to try and limit their exposure to that. Another thing is that, that, that certain animals are bad for asthma. But actually, studies have shown that kids with dogs, who grow up with dogs, are less likely to develop asthma. And the floating is like a family, and if they decide to come to the floating hospital, they're now family. We can do pulmonary function tests, we can do bronchoscopy, we can do allergy testing. We can do these things to help them because we know about all the new medicines that are available. In fact, we do studies on children with asthma, and we know what should help kids, and we have a lot of experience taking care of every single age of child who has asthma. We want them to be able to do everything that they want to do. We want them to reach their full potential. We want them to go to school every single day, and we never want them to cough, and we don't want side effects. And I love every day going to work because I make kids better, and it's a great feeling.